Hello there. In this particular lecture, we are going to learn about how to use local storage in JavaScript. Well, local storage is basically a browser feature that allow you to store your data permanently, right? The data you store is stored in the form of key value pairs and the data is still there even if the page is reloaded or the browser is closed. So let's understand that how we can set up the local storage in JavaScript and how to use that step by step. Let's start. So let's first understand the definition of local storage. So as you can see here, the local storage is a part of web storage API, right? It is a part of web storage API that allow website to store key value pairs. Means whatever data you store, get stored in the form of key value, right? I will show you in the console also that how it works. Now, the data saved in local storage remains even after the browser is closed and reopened. Means whatever data you store inside your local storage will remain in your browser until you close the browser or you uh, open the browser even after closing it. It will be there, whatever data you store there. But there's one condition that your data should be around 5 MB of data per domain means at per domain you can store only 5 MB of data right and for storing more data we use cookies well that's a different term we will uh, learn it later basically we uh, work with the cookies when we uh, work on the backend part right so here we are using local storage for storing our data fine okay so let's start let's understand that how it works so to set data what we do local storage dot set item and key and value let's see that how it works so i'm going to write local storage fine for calling local storage you need to write local storage and their s should be kept then for storing any item inside the local storage you will write set items set item set item and then you put a bracket inside of it you will first give a key that is let's uh, let me put it name and then a value of it like piyush right yeah now when you go to your website as you can see here now if i go to my application here you can see on the top okay let me bring it here you can see if i go to my application so you will get this kind of interface right and here in the sidebar you can see here a local storage is written right let me expand it yeah and when you click on it you will get your server you click on it and you can see that the key is name and the value piyush is now stored here now if i refresh my website you can see still the key and value are saved even if i copy this and paste it here and then I go to the application even then also the key and value are present here right this was the thing which I was telling you earlier now if I go to this part to get data right now since I have set this name and view share, fine. Now I want to use these values. So if I even remove it here, right? Even if I go there and reload, it is it is still here, fine. So once you set up your local storage and then you can freely do whatever you want. Now if I want to get those data, then what I can do? Uh, let's take an example. Let's print something, console.log and i'll say that not this i will use a backtick and your name is and then it. now for getting that name what i can do local storage dot get item fine inside of this i will put a bracket and then what we have to do you simply have to write the key then put this string and uh, the key was name right yeah now let's see that whether i'm getting the name or not so let's go to our console and you can see i'm getting the name 
Piyush, right? So this name is coming from where? From your local storage. Fine. Yeah. I hope you understood it. Let's uh, create some more items. Like uh, then age, I will write. Uh, Fifty-four. Fine. Now, if I save it and go to my console and again to my application. You can see the ages also get stored here. One thing you need to understand that your local storage saves the data in the form of a string only, right? So you need to uh, like write the age also in the form of a string. Fine. So I hope you get it. Now, uh, you know that how to get data, right? Now to remove any data, like there are two different data are present. I want to remove anything. Then what I have to do? Simple. Just write here local storage dot remove item then a bracket and the name of the key like age the age i added earlier i want to remove it now if i go to my console you can see uh in the application part i'm not getting that data fine yes now to clear all the data to clear all the data what i have to do you simply have to write local storage dot clear and then put a bracket here now if you go and check all the data which you have written here will be will get clear fine with the remove item we can remove any specific item from the local storage and with clear we can remove all the items which are present here there right now comes to the main part storing an object well this required few more step than just using a single line of code well it's also very easy but i am just telling you that it's it required few more lines of command so here it is written that only string can be stored as i told you earlier that local storage only stores the string right and for storing an object an object you also need to first convert that particular object into a string and then for retrieving it for getting that data you need to use the parse how it will be done let me show you so uh, let's create something let's create an object first that let user detail yeah detail equals to let's create a curly bracket and then let's give a key that's name name is what piyush and then the age is what age is 25 right yeah now if i want to store it to my local storage then what i have to do first you will write local storage then you have to write set item and then inside of it First, I will define a key, right? So that is user inside notations and then comma. And for storing the value, you need to convert this object detail in a string. For that, what we have to do? We have to write JSON dot stringify, right? Stringify, then put a bracket and inside of this, you write your object name. That is user detail. Fine. So this is how you store your object. Now, if you go to your application, you can see inside this key, you are having your object and object is what the object contains name and age that you uh, defined here. Fine. Now to get this data in your console or to use that data, what you have to do? Well, that's also very easy, but just you have to remember one thing that let's store that data it's stored. Okay. Spelling is wrong. It's stored data or stored user equals to json dot parse right whatever data you are getting from there since uh, the data get stored in the form of string right in the form of string this is a string not a, a object here fine this whole is part is a string now converting this string again to a object for that we use json dot parse fine now put a bracket here and write local storage dot get item and then put a bracket here and inside of this you will write the name of the key that is user right you have stored it inside a key name user right here so now if i want to print it then simply console.log and stored user now if you go to your console you will get your data 
as you can see here you are getting an object here right fine i hope you understood the concept that how we work with local storage now coming more and coming further in let's create a project here let's pre create a project uh, it's a very simple project right but that will give you a lot of knowledge and clarity about using local storage so uh, first uh, let me do something in the html part let's remove this heading and let's add an input inside uh, the input type will be text fine and let's give a id that is name input and then a placeholder and inside the placeholder you can write that enter enter your name fine yeah now let's create two different buttons button and again a button right inside the first button you will write save name and inside the second button we will write what that show name show name fine now for getting the output we will use a paragraph and let's give it a id id is what id let's name it output and in this button what we will do uh, let's give it a should i give it a id uh, okay there is no use of it basically fine so we are having an input field we have we are having two different buttons and then we are having this paragraph fine yeah now let's go and see that how it is looking so it is looking very vulgar <laughs> okay but yeah it, it is working fine uh, like we just need to understand right we are not going to work on the css part so here you can see i'm getting a input field and there are two different button that is save name and show name uh, this is looking really very ugly i just want to do something let's make the background color as gray fine and just remove this border radius from here let's see how it's looking okay let's give a little bit of margin margin bottom let's give a margin from all side that is 10 pixel okay now it's it's looking clear not good but yeah it's looking clear fine okay now let's go to, go to our html page and yeah i'm going to write the what i'm going to write now the js part of it so you can see that I'm having the input field, two button and one paragraph and inside this paragraph, I will print the result, right? Okay, let's go to our JavaScript. Okay, everything is very beautifully written, right? Okay, uh, let me do one thing. I will write the JavaScript part now here in the internal JavaScript. Let's not disturb that part. Fine. So now for that, I will first create a function, function and then I will name the function as save name and then i will put const name equals to document dot get element by id and let's take this name input name input i hope you understood it right so by this we have called this input field and to get the value of whatever the value we store or type inside the input we will we can do it by using dot value right yeah so by this uh, i guess yeah this part is done now when you get the data from the input we want to store it to my local storage for that what i can do local storage dot set item and then we put a bracket inside of this we will use a key that is username and then comma and then name fine yeah now uh this is for the save name right by this we can save the name let's create another function for showing the name so for that what i can do is that uh, let's create a function a uh, function function and the name of the function is show name show name show name fine yeah now inside of this i will call the second button like I will work with that so I can do one thing that I simply call the uh, username from the local storage and then show it inside this output paragraph right so let's create let uh, 
save data save data whatever the data is saved right and then local storage dot get item and then put a bracket here inside of this i will write username uh, username is right or something wrong okay so yeah username let's copy it down fine so uh, by this uh, i will get the data from the local storage fine and i want to print it inside the paragraph for that what i will do document dot get element by id and the id is what id is output output now uh, i will do what that the inner text make the inner text of the star paragraph as what as hello plus save data right yeah i guess this is done now now on the first button this button uh, when you click on it i want to call this function and on the second button i want to call this function for that what i will do on click uh, save name save name and call this function and on the second button on click what i can do is show name show name right yeah now let's see that how it works uh, whether it is working or not i hope it do uh, we will go to our application to check that whether my data is coming or not so in my application and the local storage you can see i am having having only one key that is user fine okay fine now let's write something like let's write a name that is let's uh, the name is ria fine now i want to store this name for that i will click on the save name button so let's click on it one two three and you can see that the data get stored inside your local storage username is now ria right now i want to show this name for this i will click on this button that is show name let's click on it and you can see that it is showing me the result hello ria right yeah so it is working very good uh, let's do one thing that give a little bit of space now again again i am having this uh, basically page get reloaded and everything is back to the normal form and if i click on the show name then will i get my data let's see if i click on the show name it is showing hello ria again right why because the username is now stored in the what where local storage right so this is how you work with your local storage it is very easy to use you just need to remember these four things right and with the help of this you can work very smoothly with the local storage i hope you get the concept very clearly if you do then make sure that you hit the like button and click on the subscribe button and yeah, this is all for today's video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.